you should be a monster. Because everyone says, well, you should be harmless. You don't want to be too aggressive. You don't want to be too assertive. You want to take a back seat. No. You should be a monster. And then you should learn how to control it. The definition of being aggressive is forceful and sometimes overly assertive pursuit of one's aims. In combat, almost nothing will happen the way you want it to if you don't force it that way. The enemy, nature, time, there's all kinds of things that, that are going against you. It's a losing battle. And if you don't use force of will, then, then you're not going to get it done. What it means is, is you need to make things happen. This is the good thing about being aggressive. Sure, there's, there's certain parts of your nature that are aggressive, but it can also be trained. You can start to think with an aggressive mindset, which is I am going to take action. I'm going to overcome obstacles. I'm going to push through roadblocks. I'm not going to take no for an answer. And th those are things that you can train. There's so often times where people, they get told no or they hit an obstacle and it's game over for them. They're just done. They're done training. They're over it. And your attitude, you have to go, okay. Little, little roadblock. Cool. How am I going to get through it? How am I going to get around it? What I need you to do is evaluate yourself today. Evaluate yourself to see where you are in this race of life. Many of you don't even realize that you've been racing to the finish line. This life is a race. Some of you need to be pushed to start running because you've been walking or you haven't been moving for so long. And you don't even know that you're in a race that all of us are competing to win. But it doesn't matter where you finish. It matters that you run after your goals and your dreams. The way to live is to run after your dreams to run after your goals, and to run after that finish line. There may be things in your life right now that's holding you back from running, but you have to break through those things. They're there to hinder you, but you can't let it force you to stop running. Chase your dreams, chase your goals. I don't know the situation you're in right now, but the situation that you're in, is not your future. It's not who you really are. It's not your full potential. The sky's the limit, but it all starts from within. It's all up to you. You should be a monster. You have to be hungry for greatness. You got to go through it to get to it. You got to understand that there are going to be many circumstances that will require your full, undivided attention. You got to go through it to get to it. You have to understand it has to be a unique mindset. Setting a goal and then going beyond it. Realizing that there's work to be done. Making sure that all of the strings are attached. And make no mistake along the way. Now it's true that we all make mistakes and we will have many setbacks. But there's always room for a comeback. To understand this, you must realize that you must humble yourself, but yet be hungry enough to go after it with everything inside of you. Everything that is required depends on you. Having the mindset that regardless of anything that is around you, that is surrounding you, that is trying to drag you down. You must have the mindset 
You must be strong. You must be resilient. You must be driven. And you must be able to take whatever's coming at you. If you stumble, if you fall, have the ability to get up. But you can't depend on just your body to do the work. You must understand that it's the mental fortitude that will get you through it all. So many people don't have this fortitude. They don't have this attitude. They have no faith in themselves. If you, you as the individual, can take the first step, then perhaps many more will follow. There's always going to be ups and downs in life, man. There's always going to be bumps in the road. Things that ain't going to go as planned. Unexpected stuff's going to happen. You're going to face some pain. You're going to face some tough times. And if you ain't trained your mind to be prepared for it and how to handle it, it's going to break you. The secret is to work on your mindset daily. Work on the way that you see the world. Otherwise, you'll live your whole life seeing the world through someone else's eyes. You'll be a creature of circumstance. You'll be a victim of your life and not the master of it. Read books. Listen to audios like this one. Start learning about why you do the things that you shouldn't do and why you don't do the things that you should. It's all because of the way that thing between your ears is wired. But know this. You're in control of rewiring it whenever you make the decision to do so. At any moment, you can take control back of your life and start creating a life that you deserve, not a life that someone else has paved out for you. And when all of the struggle comes, all of the bad times, all of the dark times come around, which they inevitably will, you'll be strong enough to take it head on and it will make you rather than break you. You have greatness inside you, let me tell you. Unlimited potential. But you have to train your mind. Every single day, things are going to happen outside of your control. The weather, terrorism, coronavirus. But you can't control any of that shit. All you can control is how you choose to look at situations. You can control the information that you're letting it hit. Never forget that you can have anything in this life that you want if you're willing to go and get it. You've got to have belief. You've got to have belief. And that belief comes from working on your mindset every single day. Remember this, you can be a victim of your life or the master of it.